Welcome back to Russellville, Arkansas. This is day one of the 2016 Cabela's Collegiate Bass Fishing Open. We've got 97 teams on the water, representing 57 college and university campuses from across the country. I like the Cabela's tournaments because it's a change in pace. You know, you've got the big bass tournament, and then you have the open, where it's a completely different format than just your five fish. I like that it's a team deal and that we can communicate with each other and kind of encourage each other to keep on sticking with the program and not venture off and just face adversity. Each school is represented by two boat teams fishing for three fish per boat. The heaviest six fish total weight per day will be their score. The big challenge this week will be dealing with post frontal conditions. Recent high winds and cold weather muddied up the shallows and dropped the water temperatures significantly. It was good two weeks ago and then we had a big cold front come in and it dropped the water temperature about 15 degrees on us. So it'll be, it'll be a grind. The, the wind has just been horrendous. <laughs> brutal. <laughs> it's been brutal on everybody's boat, I'm sure. And, um, cold snaps in the past few weeks, high water, it's just ruining. I just hope it's a lot better than what it was today. It was rough out there, uh, wasn't really what we were expecting, but I think uh, tomorrow and Saturday it's going to be a lot better. It's not as much wind as today and the uh, sun's actually going to be out, so I think it'll be a lot better. The University of Alabama comes into this event sitting in third in the overall Cabela's School of the Year standings. As one of the three ACA major events, teams will accrue double points. And with the top five teams separated by less than 50 points, we could see some major changes in the standings. One point, we're number two, but we're, we're there and we want to defend it and we would love to keep it that way. We've been, we've been competitive for the past couple of years, finished uh, seven, two years in a row and uh, number one SEC two years in a row and we take pride in that and we, we strive to do better every year and that's what we want to do. We want to finish at the top this year. Mississippi State is one point behind the leaders from Bethel University, but due to schedule conflicts, Bethel is not fishing this event, leaving a clear path for the rest of the field. Getting into tournament coverage, we'll check in with the University of Alabama's Caden Sinclair and Hunter Gibson. They hope, we hope they're biting. We're looking at the uh, water temperature, it's 53. That's pretty close to what it was yesterday. Back here, it'll be about yesterday's 57, so we're hoping it's somewhere in that ball game. The sun's already about to be up for us, so as far as hands and all that, it shouldn't be cold, but hopefully the water temperature will get up some. See what happens. We'll check back with Hunter and Caden later. Moving on, we'll catch up with Northern Kentucky University's Christopher Decker and Greg Humphreys. Uh, it's going to be tough because our timber is probably just now dropped to its peak lowest point and it's going to start warming up from here on out and then tomorrow will probably be back to the normal temperature of the water or warming back up so the bass will really be starting to feed again normal. I think right now that that cold front after it came through, it's just these bass are just now getting where they're wanting to hunker up against everything as thick as they can get and you got to get your bait as thick as it can get and try not to get stuck and try not to lose baits and try to get some Try to get some fish to see your bait is what's tough because you're going to be throwing it in the thickest of thicks. I mean, there might be something we ain't, had to, or ain't throwing there, but we're going to be throwing as close as we can get to the structure today. We're going to have something to prove, obviously, being, being past champions, but I mean, it's fishing. <laughs> so we're just going to have to go out there and go out there and battle. Got one. Decent fish too. But just just that we need close. <laughs> yeah, he'll push it. Hey Chris, come look at this thing. <laughs> Is it just 14? Look at that. It's just a like not even an eighth of an inch past the 14 mile. Hey, he'll keep though. Ooh wow. Good fish. When you know it's gonna be a tough morning and you had a tough day yesterday and didn't catch very didn't catch anything yesterday. And it's just a relief to get one in the boat and ah. see your partner hook one. 
Keep up with the Cabela's Collegiate Bass Fishing Series on Instagram. You can also find us on Facebook. Give us a like, and we'll keep you up to date on the latest in collegiate bass fishing.